All right, welcome back. Got a quick little informational video on this Whirlpool model number WTW5057 washing machine. This is a Whirlpool made machine, of course. Carries a one year limited warranty that covers all parts and labor for the first year of your ownership of the machine. Limited meaning they do not cover everything. Power surge being one of the major things they do not cover. So in looking at it, the first thing you'll notice is it has this glass see-through lid so you can see what's going on while you're washing. This is an easy close lid, so you open it up, let it go, no big slam. That's very nice. And this is automotive grade glass, so you're going to have a really hard time breaking this. You're really going to need to try to break it if you were breaking it. All right, the motor in this machine is belt driven. It is not a direct drive motor, which would be better, but belt driven is still good. That's the old style, probably what you're more used to if you have an older machine. Uh, it does have the agitator. Now this is not a dual action agitator. You'll notice it's locked in place, so it doesn't spin freely one way, but it is a removable agitator. And that may be one of the more notable features of this machine two-in-one removable agitator. So you just squeeze the handle like so, turn it, and remove it. It goes back in just as easily. Just set it back in the hole, squeeze the trigger, turn it back. There you go. Uh, this is a 4.7 cubic foot tub with the agitator in. Well, so it will handle a very large load of clothing. That's, that's pretty big capacity. Uh, with the agitator removed, the tub gains a small amount of space and it becomes a 4.8 cubic foot capacity. Uh, removing that agitator, what that's going to do is going to allow you to wash your bulky items much more easily, like your bedding, things like that. Uh, that's a pretty neat feature, actually. Uh, it does have the bleach dispenser, but it does not have a detergent dispenser or fabric softener dispenser. So you will have to put your detergent down into the tub, old school style. And it does have a fabric softener setting, but we'll go over that in a minute. Uh, also, a very interesting and useful feature is the built-in water faucet here. So what this allows you to do is to pre-treat stains and maybe remove loose soils right here in the washer. You just, as the water's running out, you just pre-treat it right here in the washer, no muss, no fuss. That being said, we'll go up to the control panel. Okay. So most all your controls are going to be electronic buttons, and then your cycle selection here is a rotary electronic knob. Uh, you do have pretty pretty good amount of wash cycles, 12. One of those is going to be this clean washer with a fresh cycle. So, and you can use a fresh tablets or liquid chlorine bleach, whatever, to kind of clean the inside of the tub. A little trade secret here. If you don't use as much detergent, you may not need to do that. That's the big problem. That stuff kind of cakes up on the outside of your tub and starts to stink. Uh, okay, so you've got couple of water level selections here. Basically you've got the the uh, sensing which is going to be your EPA standard uh, high efficiency. It's going to weigh the clothes, put in the water that it needs and you do have the deep water wash here also. And with Whirlpool what that deep water wash means is it's going to sense what load size you have and if you have the deep water wash selected it'll just bump it up one size. So if it senses a small load it'll bump it up to a medium. That's about it on that. You have five wash temperatures, wash and rinse temperatures, hot, warm, cool, cold, and tap cold. Tap cold, again, is gonna be the temperature of the water that's coming straight out of your pipe. So if you live in a cold environment, it may be a little too cold. Use the cold water setting, and it'll add a little warm to get it to the right temperature. Uh, you've got a couple of options, not, not a lot, but you got a couple, uh, the, well, a few. You have the 30-minute pre-soak here. That's, that's pretty nifty, you know, pre-treat stains, pre-soak them. You have the deep water wash like I just spoke about, and then you also have the extra rinse cycle uh, feature, I'm sorry. Um, this fabric softener, you're gonna choose that if you wanna add fabric softener, and this washer is gonna stop at that time, and you'll add your fabric softener and then push it again to go. Uh, you can use this button at any time during the wash, well, almost any time during the wash cycle to unlock that lid if you forgot something, if you, you know, you dropped a sock on the way to the laundry and you need to put it in there, you can press this once and it'll unlock that lid. Now that will not unlock during the sensing part of the cycle and it will not unlock during the spin part of the cycle. So any other time you can do that. Uh, this machine has a third horsepower, again, belt driven motor. 
spin speed is 770 RPMs, which is pretty fast, so that'll do a really good job of uh, getting the water out of your clothes. It'll come out a lot drier than a cheaper machine. Uh, the dimensions, let's go to that. So the height of this machine is 42 and a quarter inches tall. When the lid is opened 90 degrees, you're going to need 55 and three quarter inches of, of clearance to get that lid fully open. Your depth front to back is 27 inches. Your width side to side is 27 and three quarter inches. Only thing left to go over is the energy guide ratings, which we have right here. You're running about 34 bucks a year, typical operating cost if you're using an electric water heater, and about 20 bucks a year if you're using a gas water heater. That pretty much sums this machine up. Stay tuned for more.